to my channel so we're answering a question in my ask the jungle barbie series and you guys have been sending me tons of questions but i have been a little busy and haven't gotten a chance to answer the questions so today i'll be addressing the question of uh, how to start locks i know that i did about a year ago i did a video on how i personally started my locks but lots of you've been asking me different ways in which you can go ahead and start your locks. There are lots of different methods and I'll walk you through them as well as I will have pictures showcasing what they look like. And I will try to research the proper name so that when you go to your loctician, you can ask for them by the correct name. The first one is the most common one, I guess. Um, and that is just to twist your hair and then leave it and then it will start locking on its own people do that but you could take it a step further and you could go ahead and you could interlock in it by using the latching tool that's a good way to do your hair because if you interlock it after you twist it then it will stay for a very long time without unraveling and you will not have to visit your loctician too often it may last from anywhere from two weeks to a month depending on how often you wash your hair or how you care for your hair the other method and it's another popular method is the plaits just to plait your hair and leave them and usually when you plait your hair and leave it it lasts for a very long time even when you wash your hair they don't unravel but uh, most people go ahead and do that method because it is low maintenance and so they will do that one and you don't have to visit your loctician too often to get that done the next method is the coils and basically it's method for shorter length locks where they use gel as well as a comb to form some very small coils that will cultivate locks next one and the one that I use is the rasta braid or just braids in general so what I did I was use the rasta braid to braid into my own hair and because I had process ends and this is good for transitioners and then after I got about maybe six inches or less of locks then I took it off so Another thing that I need to mention to you is not because you're using these methods, you need to just leave your hair and don't do anything to it. If you it. don't wash your hair, if you don't retwist your hair, if you don't palm roll your hair, then you will not have gorgeous locks. So for me personally, I like to see well manicured locks. People, they don't know how to get that lock, especially from the uh, beginning stage. So what I'll do, I'll walk you through the process. So you've done either one of those locking processes and then after that what should you do so the next thing is that you need to wash your hair there's a myth to say that don't wash your hair too often when you have locks yes it takes a longer time to lock but depending on your scalp condition depending on your hair type you know the needs of your hair go ahead and listen to your hair and do what's best for your hair and do not follow stereotypes so for me personally when i started my locks i used to wash my hair every two weeks and it wouldn't lock for a very long time and then i made the mistake of using this wax and it helped to lock my hair but then my hair was a mess it was white it was very greasy and i wouldn't recommend going down that route make sure you wash your hair moisturize your hair treat your hair and then um, use some form of oils and make sure that you oil your scalp and I would recommend using peppermint oil, rosemary oil, or tea tree oil, some antiseptic oil on your scalp. And then in between washes, you can go ahead and do a dry shampoo. And you could use inexpensive dry shampoos. So I usually use the witch hazel, any one of the oils that I just mentioned. And I just put it on a cotton pad and then I would clean my roots. And then if I think I need to retouch or retwist, then I'll go ahead and do that. So when you wash your hair, you need to section your hair and retwist and palm roll. When you grow at the root, try to twist it onto whatever process that you start your hair with and then go ahead and follow up with palm rolling. Palm rolling will help to smooth out your locks and give you nice, smooth, gorgeous locks. So lots of you have been asking me how I get my locks looking so neat and smooth and beautiful that's the method that I use so every time I would twist on the new growth to my fully formed lock and then go ahead and just palm roll and it's best to do the palm rolling with a little gel or 
uh, when your hair is wet because it creates less friction and will prevent your hair from breaking. And then after you palm roll your hair, your entire head, if you go under a dryer, go ahead and go under a dryer. But personally for me, I don't like going on the dryers because they tend to dry out my hair and I don't want that. So I prefer to air dry my hair. And usually after I retwist my hair, I'll just hang and air dry. And if you're, if you're just starting out with your locks, there's a technique that you can use, which I showed to you how I retwist my hair. You could go ahead and use that technique or you could go ahead and use the pins and pin your uh, roots just to keep them in place and to prevent them from unraveling. So those were the information that I had to pass on to you in regards to how to start locks as to care for them while you have them. And if you have any other questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment box below or you could send me an email at syne.com. H I A E at gmail.com or you could send me on Facebook or on Twitter and I'll definitely go ahead and answer them for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Voila. This is the completed hairstyle.